All right, guys, so uh, I just woke up. I'm a little bit groggy right now. Uh, I just wanted to go over some news on the JP side of Dokkan Battle because there's a couple things that happened over the past two days uh, I haven't covered yet. Um, some things that happened last night that I didn't get to cover. You know, it's been a little bit yesterday. was a little bit of a busy day, so I wasn't able to record a video for you. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, shout out again to the Reddit, as always. Thank you, Sahal, for all the information about the data download. Now, um, th we're going to talk about primarily this is all jp side stuff so this is nothing to do with global but if you're interested in it and because i know most of my base i believe is uh global followers but uh we're gonna go ahead and just talk about the jp data download first off we have uh new summon tickets coming up for the thousand day downloads or th th hitting the thousand day on the server uh so this is going to be a thing for us uh let's see we get a ticket for logging in for thousand day and then you get 30 stem tickets a day and 10 stem tickets a day which is cool and you get new mission rewards. One is spending a thousand stamina during the event, gives you an Elder Kai. And clearing a Dokkan Fest will give you a stone every day up to ten times. Oh, okay, up to ten times. All right, cool. So I just want to show you, this is what it looks like. Uh, release thousand day memorial. So you can draw on the memorial Gasha one time using this. Now I'm assuming this is going to come out along with the Z Awaken Rebirth thing for the Dokkan exclusives. Or for the TURs. I don't know. This is just a guess. It's because it says here. I mean, this is Google Translate. But it says Memorial Gasha. So I'm assuming it's going to be the old school Dokkan Fest cards. Maybe you can get one of those guys. Who knows? I, I really don't. We won't know until later on. It's like 10 a.m. And uh, this isn't supposed to go live until 12, 1 o'clock. Something like that. Because it said that um, the actual Gacha stuff is going to be released at 8 a.m. PST. So that's like four hours from where I'm at, which is two more hours. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's that. So we'll stay tuned for that. And this is just like the daily stuff. Um, so one thing I didn't get to talk about was this. I did post it up on the Multiverse and the Gaming Lounge. So if you want to go follow me over there, go ahead onto Facebook and look up the Multiverse group for Dokkan Battle or the Gaming Lounge. Those are the two groups that I'm the most active in. Uh, this is where I post it up. We are going to be getting new Dragon Ball Heroes, and it looks like we're getting Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, and a different version of Toa, unless it's a Dokkan version of her. Uh, unless it's like the actual Tech 1 Dokkan. I don't know. Freaking pretty nice. I like the artwork on her. <laughs> anyway, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan and the Super Saiyan 3 Trunks is going to be pretty damn badass. Uh, so, here's the thing. Now I'm wondering. We should have a Heroes leader, like a Dragon Ball Heroes leader. I feel like that would be appropriate, but I don't think they're going to go that specific on the JP side to make it their own category. What they might do is like a video game character, or they might do Super Saiyan 3 leader now. If they were to do a Super Saiyan 3 lead category, that would be badass, because I know a lot of people are actually talking about that. Those are two things that I could see. Um, I don't know what else they would possibly do about that. But I mean, Super Saiyan 3, because think about it, you also have that Goten, the adult Gotenks. He... Dokkan Awakens into Super Saiyan 3, so having that as a Super Saiyan 3 category, like having one of them being a Super Saiyan 3 category lead, I think would be pretty damn cool, and there's just so many Super Saiyan 3s available to do that way. Anyway, um, outside of that, so that should be coming. We don't know anything more about that yet. It was just announced the other day on the official um, the official Twitter account from J from the Dokkan JP. So no, this isn't a troll, guys. I posted it up on Facebook, and I was just like, hey, you know, this is what's going on. I can't believe this is happening. And some people are like, oh, it's fake, it's fake. I'm like, dude, no, like, yo check out the official like twitter like go, go to um twitter.com forward slash dokkan underscore official and follow them and enable notifications whenever they get an update because so they, they're uh, they are trying to outdo the data miners and in releasing information so they don't let the stuff download onto the game until they release it or until they're about to release it also look at that x over here it kind of looks like they, they they tried to speed that up as fast as they could because it looks like they were still making modifications this was just actually kind of funny um anyway so uh yeah they they were they are the ones who officially announced that this is not just a troll anyway um the one thing i did want to touch upon is because i did not get to go over this yet um the goku Dokken awakening so these are all the super saiyan goku cards right just these guys right here all these guys are freaking nuts uh they most of these have Dokken awakening i'll just gonna show you the ones who don't this one does not have a Dokken Awakening. He probably will never get a Dokken Awakening because he was from the crossover event. That only came once, and it was on the global version. Uh, only available on the global version. So this is a global exclusive. And, I mean, the card isn't amazing. He plus two for all allies with the passive and a leader ability. That's kind of meh. Good probably back in the day, but he only does huge damage. Anyway, this is the one you can grind that 
you know, you could actually grind out TUR or ultra rare versions of himself, and you can uh, feed him into the other Super Saiyan Goku. It's actually all of the. That's what I did. I just grinded a shit ton of them, and um, I fed them all into the SSR variants. I still have nine waiting for the physical Goku. That's this one right here, the Triumphant Light Super Saiyan Goku that I don't have. Anyway, um, to get not to get too much off topic. Convulsing Rage Super Saiyan Goku, we're waiting for him to get a Doken Awakening. He is like the one Goku everyone wants to get Doken Awakening. He's back from the OG meta with extreme damage. I mean, he's an SSR with extreme damage, need I say more? Uh, passive skill attack plus 50% when key meter is 5 or more. So for those of you who don't know, this was really OP back in the day. Like, back in the day. I mean, you can even take, take a look for how OG he is because he only has four very basic Link, link skills. Um, I would say he's going to Doken Waken, and it's obviously going to, I think it's just going to be a flat out um, attack buff, and I think they're going to give him 100% or more. Personally, I think so, just because he's so freaking old and OG, they might just hook him up. I don't know, that's just, like, you know, a guess on my part. Um, Link skills is definitely going to get prepared for battle, um, and depends on how he Doken Waken. He's either going to get Shattering the Limit, or he's going to get um, the Doken Event 1 Fierce Battle if he Doken Awakens with a specific event medal from a Doken a Doken event. Um, anyway, or he could go into a different character like Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Who knows? Maybe he'll go into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Anyway, um, yeah, he is. It, it should be like Ultra Rare Summon. Anyway, um, so he does not have a Doken Awakening yet. And this Goku from the World Tournament doesn't have a Doken Awakening yet, though I don't really care too much for him to get a Doken Awakening. He's probably just going to be super self reliant with that passive skill anyway. Uh, so this is the Goku who got his Doken Awakening. Now, this one's pretty cool. Um, this was good during, this was actually came out during the full power Frieza event. Uh, so his thing was to survive a knockout attack when HP is 30% or above. There was also a nail, but the nail is like 50% or above. Uh, essentially all you had to do is make sure that you had like full health and then when Frieza was about to launch his super attack, you need to put one of those to, you need to get lucky enough to have them on the rotation. But full power Frieza would one shot you with this freaking super. I mean, nowadays you can just, you know, disregard that with any freaking blocking card like the Super Saiyan 3 Strength Vegeta or the agil and any of the agility or tech Frieza, uh, Golden Frieza, that actually do damage reduction, or any card that actually does damage reduction, you could probably survive. But, uh, yeah, uh, this was his specialty. He had some decent link skills and some decent stats, but ever since, like, that was, like, there was only two fights that he was good for. I think it was that one. It was definitely that, the full power Frieza, and then there was another event where the enemy one-shots you. I forgot which one it was after that, and then I think there's another one now. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku event. Uh, is the one that one-shots you. So th that's the only two that he's available for. So this one now, Doken Awakens, he requires the Goku, f uh, well, I guess called Goku 5 medals, uh, and the Nimbus medals. <clears throat> so they, I'm actually going to load it, because I don't know where the hell you get the Goku 5 medal. Um, let's see. Well, waiting for that little bit. The Nimbus medals, we already know, you have to do special special mission rewards um, on in the game in order to do it on specific events time trials essentially <clears throat> but the goku medal oh, okay ah oh, okay so this is for his doken awakening from the universe uh emperor of the universe event so he gets fierce battle so he has to go there and grind those out and it would require him to have three of those goku medals and seven of the nimbus medals so when he doken awakens he actually becomes super freaking awesome plus that, that artwork's pretty badass i love that artwork uh roaring anger super saiyan goku Leader ability, strength, agility, tech type, key plus two, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. So he's a, you know, um, for who he is as a character, as a card, if you are brand new to the game and you happen to pull this very, really, really rare card, he's not that bad of a leader. That that's some, Those are some nice stat buffs. I mean, you could use him on a semi-rainbow team if you really wanted to. Um, I mean, you just need to make sure you don't have any physical or intelligence. I mean, and that that's pretty good. And then he is universal. So you could take on old school Dokkan events with this Dokkan Awakening. Um, plus, once you get him Dokkan, it only takes three of those medals. You can go in on and take on that Frieza event a hell of a lot easier with him as a leader. Uh, Super Attack, Angry Kamehameha, greatly raises attack for one turn, which is freaking awesome and, and causes supreme damage. And now he gives himself an attack plus 90% at the start of the turn. So not only does he greatly raise his attack, he gives himself an attack buff, or uh, yeah, stat buff of 90% when he's launching a super attack. And he, now his survival of a knockout atta attack is when HP is 20% or above, which is really freaking awesome as well. Um, so he he actually Doken Wake into a really good card. I just completely forgot to go over him, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, Link skills are Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Ace, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Z Fighters, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. 
Which is odd, because he requires a Dokkan medal to in order to Dokkan Waking. I feel like he should have Super Fierce Battle. That's kind of weird. Um, ah, no, I kind of feel like he got shafted there, huh? Anyway, uh, that sucks. Uh, max stats HP of 9021, attack of 7874, and defense of 4806 with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Attack boost for the super is 50%. So essentially, they took his old passive and they threw it onto his super attack. And they gave him on an additional line. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They didn't actually, he didn't actually have 50%. So he's still 140% uh, with supreme damage, which is not bad at all. And then 135%. Actually, wow, look at this max potential orb system. <clears throat> oh, let's talk about the base. Um, base attack 9,900. Ooh, that, that's actually kind of low. Um, that is really kind of low. That's uh, the base max potential system is what newer meta cards are coming out with about. Uh, maybe just underneath that. And then total max potential is 12,000. Ooh, yeah. Um, overall, I mean, he's going to hit really hard with that 140% of buff to his attack. But the fact that he lacks fierce battle, I wouldn't recommend you putting orbs into him. Um, unless you just really like the artwork, because he does have some freaking pretty damn badass artwork. That is a, that's a pretty sick card. I like that. Um, whoever, whoever drew this variant of Goku did a really good job. I mean, his, his muscles are also freaking bulging. It's freaking nuts, but, uh, that's also when he first learned the Super Saiyan transformation. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to go over that with you guys. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, in terms of this old school stuff, not that one, I clicked on the wrong one. In terms of not this old school stuff, in terms of the Dragon Ball Heroes, are you guys excited about that? I kind of am. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I will be doing a full gameplay on the um, global side for the new Bio Broly event. I'm just going to be doing a playthrough on that because there's only like five levels. I haven't played it yet. I haven't even started it yet. And I know it is Monday morning. So I, I don't know. I just I haven't had the will to go and grind it. I've been playing Bleach Brave Souls for the past week and a half because of the Halloween edition characters and <clears throat> the exclusive manga characters. And I really want those manga characters. I got my Seijin, Sajin, um, and I got Bi Bi Byakuya. I really would rather prefer T Toshiro. Byakuya is cool, but he's not one of my favorite characters. So I, I'm trying, I, I want to get the Toshiro at the same time. Halloween characters come out once a year. The manga characters are going to come out again in the future. So, or most likely they're going to come out in the future. So, you know, it makes more sense for me to try and hunt down the, the soy phone that I want. Just because soy phone is essentially a, just a lesser variant of Toshira, like how Yodorichi is a lesser variant of Seijin. But the cool thing about Yodorichi is she actually has a killer ability that's viable on PvP events. Not PvP, PvE events. So she does more damage. Anyway, for most of you who probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, this is a Dokkan Battle video. I might start bringing Bleach Brave Souls to, the, to uh, stream or to YouTube just because I play it all the time. But um, anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here to make sure to sub if you're new. I'll catch you all later.